Welcome back to another gear review. Thanks for coming back to the channel. Without further ado, I'll get right into it. Today I wanted to look over the M1944 Combat Pack and the instruction manual that is original that came with it. This is the M1944 Combat Pack that was meant to replace this. This is an M1928 haversack, and this will have its own video shortly. But the troops were very happy to get this because the M1928 haversack just sucked. I'll be doing a video on why it sucked later on, so we don't have to go into that right now. The M1944 Combat Pack came about in, you guessed it, 1944. This particular one is dated 1945. It is original. This is for hanging your entrenching tool or T-handle shovel. This is for hanging your bayonet over here. You have a small strap here to attach your entrenching tool so it doesn't flop around all over the place. These are for attaching your 1944 Combat Pack which I will be showing later on in a later video. You have these straps going around for attaching, you know, blankets, bedrolls. Uh, you could attach a shelter half to it if you had to. The inside is waterproof. It uses a rubber lining that you can roll down on top of itself and it will keep everything dry. This pack, same as the haversack, has integrated suspenders you can take these off it's just quite a chore so these would go down to your cartridge belt that's pretty much all those were good for you could attach it to the pack itself and just wear the pack without your cartridge belt so that way if you get into combat you can dump the pack and drop quite a bit of the weight so that you can move faster if you're under fire but i don't know if troops would do that with this pack i know that they did it with the haversack which I'll be talking about later on. Now this was a find off of eBay. The uh, suspenders, the combat pack, the cargo pack, and this. This is an instruction manual on how to use your combat pack. So it goes over attaching suspenders, assembling the pack, packing the pack. You can see right here, you've got that waterproof lining. Attaching your equipment, you can see the bayonet, the entrenching tool. Uh, you can see the... Uh, Blanket or bedroll can be attached there. You know how to carry the pack. And the coolest part is it's dated 1944. So if you want to pause that, you can read the entire thing. Kind of a neat piece of history, if I do say so myself, and something I'm happy to have in my collection. So that's an overview of a little bit of the history on the combat pack. And even a little bit less on the haversack. That'll have its own video later once I can figure out how to open it, because it's quite the chore. And I'll also give you some tips on buying reproductions, because this is my first piece of reproduction gear. Everything else I own is all original, except for that. So, honestly, I'm pretty happy with it, but I'll save that for another video. So, thank you guys for checking back, thank you for watching, and have a good one.